Hi guys, are you sure we consider us more like a settlement staff for Bitcoin? What we can discuss here is more on like how the Bitcoin settlement is happening for like most of the Bitcoin L2. We started with like developing an optimistic roll up on Bitcoin. So that was basically like trying to emulate what it was doing for settling a, a certain transaction for the smart contracts, but we tried to modify it that our settlements are directly happening natively on Bitcoin. So that part is still working. But meanwhile, like working on the problem, we found most of the L2s right now are either a side chain or a rollup that's actually doing the rollup on some other chain and just connected to Bitcoin merely by a single bridge. They are not actually doing any kind of settlement on Bitcoin. So for that, basically what we feel like there are two kinds of settlement. First is the data settlement and another is the transaction settlement. So for transaction settlement, the BitPM guys and RGB++ guys are actually working very hard and we are also collaborating with them, working with them behind the scenes, but uh, it's going to take some time. So for the meanwhile, what we felt that we can actually provide data settlement to us to just create an edge over like most of the rollups that we are competing with. So for that, we developed something called a hybrid modular DLA. That's what we call it internally. If you see on the background, it's more of like how you can post the state proofs of the data that basically the states of our chain after a certain time interval and that are posted to Bitcoin in the OP return. So we can actually have a native verifiability of our st uh, chain state directly on the bit. So we, f we were trying to give like some sort of verifiability on the Bitcoin side. But we started with like the data settlement part and later like we were reached out by like several different L2s that are actually building in the space. As, as everyone knows, like right now there are more than 100 plus L2s that are building and they were pretty much interested in our like the HMDA stack. So once we got the interest from the market, we made a pivot on making sure that our HMDA is more of a modular a stack that we can actually do plug and play. So. After working on the dev side and a little bit research, we uh, came up with like the V1 of the HMDA, which can now integrate with like any chain that build on the Orbit stack or like any of the chains that are using Avail as a DA. And later we have a partnership with Nuffle also, and we are working with Tron also. So what we provide there is more of a, a data settlement capability on the Bitcoin, which is based on a plug and play model. That if you're using any of the external DAs or uh, if you are one of the compatible stacks, we can directly make sure that your data is on Bitcoin, which is like the closest to like Bitcoin L2s <coughs> that are present in the market that we can provide you with data settlement. And that's when we uh, pivoted to more of a finality stack where we have a proof of concept chain, which is running, which has more than 35 dApps. Uh, that are building on us without any grant program. We have not officially launched anything, but like uh, people started working on it because they have the trust in what we are building. So, but on the long term, we see more of the liquidity of the runes and ordinals can be utilized by a lot of games that require a lot of throughput. So they can basically run their L3s on Arbitrum or somewhere else, which can have the native data settlement on the Bitcoin. Later on, once we have the finality stack on the transaction side ready, we can actually do the same for the transactions also, so they can easily tap into the Bitcoin liquidity. So meanwhile, we were working on everything. We figured out one more problem that's uh, basically there in this, even in the ZK and the optimistic rule, specifically rule of sphere, that even if we consider the, what you can say, the Bitcoin stack is working perfectly, a single transaction would actually take close to like three months for settlement. If you, you go by the total trustless ways because of the requirements of like the Bitcoin script and the block time, which is close to 10 minutes. So you have to wait for certain blocks that, so that will actually ensure that it will take close to three months for any of the transactions to properly settle. So, so to make it a little more palatable for users, we actually built an MPC based bridge where the private keys are never generated. So we tried to create like one of the most trust minimized bridge, like it is more the other federated bridges. The thing is just like we as a project don't own all the relayers. We are one of the relayers along with us. There are five more relayers and all those guys are basically, they have like really good experience in the space. They have at least like five years running the bridges on the Ethereum side. So we tried to get them in and for that, like chain safe was specifically the Sigma was very instrumental 
as they had really good partnerships before as they have pretty good experience in running the fala bridge and also building the avalanche like a native bridge so we partnered with them and tried to create an mpc based bridge which we can actually ensure to the bitcoin audience that the chain that we are building is not just any proof of concept chain but it's it's a well worth chain which has a lot of ecosystem dapps building on it along with that the funds are like hyper secure so this is the complete solutions that we are actually providing to our users so for the infra side like the chains we try to pitch the hm hmda with the combination of the bridge so you guys any anyone can actually launch a bitcoin l2 in seconds with having the real on the bitcoin and on the other hand we uh, have our own chain which has a very vibrant ecosystem building on it do we have any questions for aish thank you did you say you were collaborating with bitlayer was that correct we are open to open with collaboration to anyone in the market but on the bridge side like we were working with like uh, sigma the guys like sigma chain safe the guys behind the fala bridge and the avalanche bridge i think on the last question like i just want to add one thing so if any of the l2s want any kind of native data settlement on bitcoin then we can be the go to guys for them well yeah thanks again anyone wants to connect with a following this then happy to connect you and just shoot shoot us a message i think that was a great presentation thank you aish